This is how to get anyone's attention fast. And you tell me if I'm wrong, why did you stop and watch this video? Was it because I just called you out? Because I made you think about why you're here? Or maybe it's because you're worried about your heart health and you're desperate for answers that actually work. Well, guess what? You're in the right place because in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to reveal 5 overlooked nutrients that can literally reverse artery damage. Yes, you heard that right. Reverse artery damage. And these aren't your run-of-the-mill vitamins. We're talking about powerhouse nutrients that most doctors don't even know about. Nutrients that could be the difference between life and death. Now, I know what you're thinking, Maurice, that sounds too good to be true, but stick with me because I'm about to blow your mind with cold, hard facts and scientific evidence that will make you rethink everything you thought you knew about heart health. So if you want to learn how to clean out your arteries naturally without expensive drugs or risky surgeries, keep watching because this information could save your life or the life of someone you love. So let's dive in. Conventional medicine often focuses on managing symptoms rather than addressing the root cause of artery damage. Statins, blood thinners, and other medications certainly have their place, but they often come with side effects and don't actually repair the damage of your arteries. What we're looking for are nutrients that can reduce inflammation in the arterial walls, promote the body's natural repair processes, improves the flexibility and strength of arteries, reduce plaque buildup, support overall cardiovascular health. The nutrients I'm about to share with you tick all these boxes and the best part, they're all natural and work with your body's own healing mechanisms. And these supplements I take personally and will share the dose intake. First up, we have vitamin K2. Now, you've probably heard of vitamin K1, which is important for blood clotting. But K2 is the hero when it comes to artery health. Here's why K2 is so crucial. It helps direct calcium to your bones where it belongs and away from the arteries where it can cause possible damage. It activates a protein called matrix GLA protein which is one of the most potent inhibitors of arterial calcification. Now keep in mind, there is a known blood test to check your levels as high levels of N-carboxylated MGP is a high risk of low levels of vitamin K2. And studies have shown that higher intake of K2 is associated with a lower risk of coronary heart disease. Now the best sources of K2 are Fermented foods like Nero, a Japanese fermented soybean dish, if that doesn't appeal to you, as it doesn't for me, grass-fed dairy and egg yolks are also excellent sources. For supplementation, do look for MK7, the most bioavailable form of K2. Now, before I share my recommendations, check this out. For a hypothetical cause, you guys know that a calcified artery does contain about 30% calcium phosphate as hydroxyapatite. If I am correct, if you have a 30% blockage of calcium phosphate and you take 2000 micrograms of vitamin K2 in the form of MK7, likely it should take roughly 1-2 to two years of consistency to reduce the calcium levels in the arteries. Optimistically, a 10 to 20% reduction in calcification might be possible over this period. See, MK7 has a 72 hour half life in the human body, but it does take 7 to 10 days of steady supplementation to reach steady state levels in the blood, and only 60 to 90% is absorbed by our intestine. See, my personal recommendation and testing was and still starting with. 25,000 micrograms per day for the initial 10 days, reducing down to 2,000 micrograms daily for the next 1 to 2 years and retest. Now it's crucial to note, this is a high dose and it should only be considered under medical supervision. See, results can vary greatly between individuals. So remember, this is a theoretical estimate 
In practice, treatment would be personalized based on individual health status, regular testing, and overall cardiovascular risk factors. Now, let's talk about citrus bioflavonoids. These are compounds found in the white pith of citrus fruits. They're absolute powerhouses when it comes to artery health, specifically soft plaque. See, citrus bioflavonoids, particularly hesperidin and rutin, offer several benefits. They strengthen the blood vessels and improve their flexibility. They have potent anti-inflammatory effects, reducing inflammation in arterial walls. They help reduce oxidative stress, which is a major contributor to artery damage. They've been shown to improve endothelial function, which is crucial for healthy arteries. Now, you can get bioflavonoids by eating plenty of citrus fruits, specifically grapefruit and lemons. So make sure to eat some of the white pith where these compounds are concentrated. Now, for supplementation, look for a mixed citrus bioflavonoid complex. But here is my recommendation. Quercetin, hesperidin, rutin, norigin, and diosmin, my top five favorite. And you need a minimum of 5,000 milligrams per day. Let me explain why. Quercetin half-life is 3 to 17 hours and 5 to 20% bioavailable. Hesperidin, 2 to 3 hours half-life and 10 to 25% bioavailable. Rutin, 2 to 4 hours half-life with 15 to 30% bioavailable. Norigin, 2 to 4 hours of half-life, 5-15% bioavailable. And diosmin, 11 to actually 14 hours half-life with 50 to 60% bioavailable. So since absorbable amount is very minuscule, 2,500 milligrams is required twice a day with meals that contains a minimum of 30 grams of fat, reaching a proper bioavailability and proper half-life. This is essential for soft plaque and reduction have improved within less than three months and completely gone within two years. Our third nutrient is Nero kinase, an enzyme derived from Nero. Now the same fermented soybean dish that is rich in vitamin K2. Now Nero kinase is a true artery cleaning powerhouse. Here's what makes Nero kinase so special. It has a potent fibrinolytic activity, meaning it can help break down fibrin a protein involved in a blood clot formation. It helps reduce blood viscosity, improving overall circulation, and studies have shown it can help reduce blood pressure and improve cholesterol levels. It may also help reduce arterial plaque buildup. So getting Nero kinase from food means eating Nero, which is an acquired taste for many. For most people, supplementation is the way to go. So look for Nero kinase supplements measuring and fibrinolytic units with a dose of 12,000 to 18,000 FU per day. Multiple studies have shown its half-life is between 3 to 11 hours in the body with unknown bioavailability being tested on a human, mostly on rats being only 5 to 15% absorbed. But it's an excellent supplement to consider alongside with serapeptase of 500,000 SPU. Fourth on our list is aged garlic extract. Now, garlic has been used medicinally for thousands of years, but aged garlic extract takes the benefits to a whole new level. See, aged garlic extract is created by adding raw garlic and ethanol for up to 20 months. This process creates unique compounds that offer powerful cardiovascular benefits. It helps reduce blood pressure and improve cholesterol profiles. It has Potent antioxidant effects protecting arteries from oxidative damage. And studies have shown it can help reduce arterial plaque buildup. Now, it may help improve endothelial function and arterial elasticity. Now, my own testing was against a blood test, LP, PLA2, and MPO, both with high numbers, indicates possible soft plaque and or inflammation in the arteries. Within about 90 days on aged liquid garlic under the tongue of 7 grams, cut into 3 doses, LPPLA2 and MPO both leveled off. See, LPPLA2 is actually an enzyme that plays a role in the development of atherosclerosis, so the buildup of plaque in the arteries. Elevated levels of LPPLA 
have been linked to an increase in the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attacks and strokes. Some studies suggest that garlic extract may help to stabilize or even reduce LPPLA2 levels potentially contributing to better cardiovascular health. Now, NPO, on the other hand, is an enzyme released by white blood cells during inflammation. It has been associated with the development and progression of cardiovascular diseases, as it can contribute to oxidative stress and the formation of oxidized LDL cholesterol. And research indicates that garlic extract may help to stabilize or even reduce NPO levels, which could have potential effect on the cardiovascular system. So if you have either or LPPLA2 or MPO being above normal, requirement is 7 grams per day for one year, then reduced to about 1.5 per day as maintenance. Now you can make your own by purchasing or even growing your own garlic. I like to get uh, Russian or Spanish garlic, that's what I prefer, and peel them off and place them in a seal as I have in my hand right now. This is actually filled with apple cider vinegar. Let them soak and for at least 10 to 20 days before uh, start to use them. I've been using this method for the past four years and it works amazing. Last but certainly not least, we have pomegranate extract. This ruby red fruit is packed with compounds that are incredibly beneficial for artery health. Here's why pomegranate extract is so freaking powerful. It's rich in puny collagens, which are potent antioxidants that protects arteries from oxidative damage. It helps reduce inflammation in the arterial walls. And studies have shown it can help reduce arterial plaque and improve blood flow. It may help lower blood pressure and improve cholesterol profiles as well. Now you can certainly eat pomegranates or drink pure pomegranate juice, but to get therapeutic doses, supplementation is often necessary. Look for elagic acid of 95 to 98% extracted with a dose intake of 2000 milligrams per day. This is your ultimate most powerful polyphenol against soft plaque with results showing massive optimization with LPPLA2, MPO, and OXLDL. So there you have it folks, five overlooked nutrients that can help reverse artery damage naturally. So let's recap, we got vitamin K2, citrus bioflavonoids, NATO kinase, aged garlic extract, and the last one is pomegranate extract as elagic acid. Now remember, the key to cardiovascular health isn't just about adding these nutrients, it's about a holistic approach that includes a healthy diet, HIIT training, grounding, and good quality sleep. Now, if you're dealing with cardiovascular issues, don't lose hope. Your body has an amazing capacity to heal when given the right tools. These nutrients, combined with a healthy lifestyle, can actually help you take control of your arterial health. So, as always, I want to hear from you. Have you tried any of these nutrients what has been your experience? Leave a comment below and let's start a conversation. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from this information. And guys, don't forget to subscribe for more content on natural approaches to health and wellness. So until next time, this is Maurice reminding you that your health is in your hands. Take care and let's stay healthy. Cheers.